Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US. And in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you my version of an A2 pinwheel tower card. I absolutely love these cards. They seem to be all the craze and I just had to try to make one for myself. And I love how easily they go together. Look at how cool this is from the side. Now again, this is an A2 size card. It will fit inside one of our medium envelopes. I love that because it's such a cool card that you wanna be able to send in the mail. For this card, we're using the Happy Holidays Bundle, which you can find on page 27 of the mini catalog. We've got the Happy Holidays stamp set, the Holly Border Punch, I love this border punch, and then a throwback to the annual catalog, the Tidings of Christmas 6x6 Designer Series paper. I love this pack of paper, beautiful Christmas colors. I love that neutral of Sahara sand. So let me show you how easy it is to make this A2 pinwheel tower card. We're gonna start with Sahara sand cardstock, and I have one piece that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. That's a quarter piece of an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And then three pieces that measure four and a quarter by two and three quarters. These are actually just half the size of this first panel. And with the four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece, we're gonna score this at two and three quarters, three and a half, four and a quarter, and five. Next, I'm going to take a piece of tear and tape and run that right along this half inch section, but right up to that score line, like so. Then with a pair of paper snips, I'm just going to come in and just miter the edges of that half inch section. And then next, I'm going to fold and burnish on all the score lines. Now using the take your pick tool, I'm going to pull off the backing of the tear and tape. And then I'm going to fold on the first score line and the third score line, so first and third, and that means that I can just press this down flat. We're using our score lines to square up this center section here, just like so. So it's real easy, you fold on the first and third score line, press it down flat. I like to kind of fold both directions here. And that's the start of our pinwheel here. You wanna make sure that you pay attention to the direction. I've got this flap sort of in the front of that square. Then we're gonna take the three, four and a quarter by two and three quarter inch pieces. And with this going in the same direction, I've just kind of folded this flat to reveal that score line. I'm gonna take liquid glue and just put that in that three quarter inch section here. I don't wanna go past the score line. And then I'm gonna take one of the panels and we're gonna slide that right up to that folded edge. We want it to be just a hair before the folded edge so that we don't have any problems with this card folding in all the different directions. So I just wanna show you, I'm really close to that folded edge, but not quite to it. We'll go ahead and press that down until it adheres. Then I'm gonna slide this over again to reveal the next score line here. And then we're just gonna take liquid glue, again, staying within that 3 quarter inch section, not going past the fold or the score line adhering this panel again in the same way. So going right up to that folded edge, but just a hair before it. Press that into place. Again, you can see the folded edge, but just a little bit. And then finally, we'll fold it to the last section. We're gonna put glue here again, and then adhere our last panel. Again, not going past that folded edge, stopping just before it and pressing into place. You can use your adhesive of choice here, whether that be Tear and Tape or Stamp and Seal Plus. Any of those three will work, but I love this, so I could play with this for hours. It's such a fun mechanism here that gives you that really cool pinwheel tower card. For the next part, we're just gonna have some fun with some layers. So we're gonna have four pieces that are cut at four by two and a half, and then four pieces that are cut to four by one and three quarters. So just have fun with your designer series paper patterns. I'm gonna to try to do this in order here. Any of these could be our starting point. You kinda of wanna just lay out pieces before you glue them down. So we're gonna start with this piece. This is our four by two and a half piece and I'm gonna glue that to this panel here. And then for the opposite side, I've cut a piece of evening evergreen to four by one and three quarters and then a piece of cherry cobbler to four by quarter of an inch. I'm gonna bring in the holly border punch here and I'm gonna slide this into the punch, but I'm gonna line up that left edge right where sort of that metal stops right there. I know that's probably tough to see in the camera. That's just gonna be my starting point. And then I'll do the first punch. 
like so. Now what's great about our border punches is I'm gonna feed that right back in and you'll see this silver paint here on the side. That's gonna help us line up what's already been punched so that these holly leaves and berries are all lined up. So I just wanna show you, you wanna have that silver paint lined up within the punch outs and then you know you're in the right spot. Beautiful, look how cool that looks. All right, so I'm gonna save two of the holly leaves because we're gonna use that on a different panel. I'm gonna put those off to the side and then I'm gonna flip this over because I want my holly leaves pointing upwards and I want that wider section to be on the left. I'm gonna bring in this quarter inch strip of the cherry cobbler and then we're just gonna layer that to fill up the space here on the side of our holly border. Just like that, how pretty does that look? Nice and classic. And then I'm gonna to come to the back here and just place glue in the easier spots that I can add it to. And then we'll layer that down right here on this narrower section. Pretty, right? We're gonna do some stamping here in a little bit. Let's get our layers adhered first. I'm gonna to flip to the next section. And then I have two contrasting pieces from the Tidings of Christmas Designer Series paper. Again, just a reminder, four by one and three quarter, four by two and a half. Love those patterns together. Flipping to the next section, same thing. We've got our four by one and three quarters and four by two and a half. And then our last section here, I've got one piece of basic white that's our four by two and a half inch piece. That's the piece that you can write your note to the recipient on. And then this piece that's four by one and three quarters. Now before I glue this basic white piece down, I wanna do a little bit of stamping on it. And I'm gonna grab the Holly and Berries stamp set from Happy Holly Days. And I'm gonna use a Cherry Cobbler stamp and write marker and an Evening Evergreen stamp and write marker. And I'm gonna color direct to the stamp. So coloring in the berries with Cherry Cobbler first. And then I'll color in the Holly leaves with Evening Evergreen. Then I'm just gonna huff on the stamp and then we'll stamp that in this lower left corner. Then you get that beautiful multicolored stamp in one stamp. We'll go ahead and adhere this to the card base. All right, so now it's time to do a little bit of stamping here. We're gonna add some sentiment panels to these pieces. I have two pieces of basic white that measure one inch by two and a half inches, and one piece of basic white that measures three quarters of an inch by four inches. Bringing in Cherry Cobbler, we're gonna stamp the sentiment Noel. Christmas blessings to you and yours and wishing your family health and happiness throughout the coming year. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp all three of those. All right, so bringing our card back in, let's start with the sentiment Noel. And I've added that to our front panel of the pinwheel tower card. Flip to the next one, and I'm gonna take the longer sentiment, we're actually gonna adhere that vertically. Love the way that pops on that cherry cobbler pattern. Flipping to the next panel. Now this panel needed a little something more. I know there's a herringbone pattern there in the evening evergreen, but I thought it would be a nice touch to add some holly leaves and some holly berries. So I'm gonna glue those down. Now they have a nice subtle look that you can barely see on camera here. But to take those up a notch, I'm gonna take a trio of the red rhinestones. Isn't that so pretty? And there's our last panel with the holly berries. I love the way this looks. Clean, classic, simple, and easy. What a fun and beautiful card for the recipient to display on their mantle for the holidays or at their desk. You can do a lot of fun things with this. You can add little diagonal panels of designer series paper to create a pocket for a gift card. Just so many fun things to do with this. And I love that this is four and a quarter by five and a half. So this can be sent in the mail in our medium envelopes. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I use today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements and details. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects to inspire you. And if you don't wanna miss a thing, you can subscribe to receive blog updates via email and you'll receive an email each time I publish a new post. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. 
And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the Starter Kit is the ultimate bundle, and it's a great way to fulfill your wish list for less. You can purchase the Starter Kit at thepaperpixie.com join, and I'd love to welcome you to my team of Paper Pixies and the Stampin' Up! family. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like complimentary copies of our current catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at thepaperpixie.com slash happymail. And if you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.